Hey guys, it's Callie from Lashes and Rouge, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the curly hair products I have been exploring recently. And like I said yesterday, I have a few more to show you, because I already did a whole post about my favorite and not-so-favorite curly hair products. And because I have curly hair, what I put in my hair is really important to me because I want to have curls that are going to last through second day. And this is actually second day curls and as you can see my hair is starting to get a lot longer now but despite that I still have a fair amount of curls from the curl product that I put in after yesterday's shower so I'll talk about two different categories one uh, dry shampoos and two will be actual curly hair gels creams sort of thing the first one I want to talk about is my all-time favorite dry shampoo and I've tried four or five over the past decade and none of them have worked for a extended amount of time without me going yeah I don't like this it just doesn't make my hair feel that great but I actually found this stuff it's from Bedhead and it's a Rockaholic Dirty Secret dry shampoo I will actually put this in my hair right before I go to bed and kind of scrunch my hair a little bit and then either put my hair up in a pineapple twist, which is, show it to you quickly, it's your hair up on top of your head as much as you can get it, and then you kind of secure it with a hair, uh, hair band or whatever you feel like will keep your hair in place all night long. And then in the morning, I won't do anything to my hair until I get out of the shower, and usually for second day hair, I will wear a shower cap in the shower so my hair doesn't get frizzy, because if I didn't, then yeah, it's frizz galore. Anyway, this Rockaholic Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo is very affordable. I believe it is $7 at Target. <clears throat> 7 or 8 I think. Um, and I've had this bottle for several months now. And I don't use it that consistently, but it's got plenty left in it. The second dry shampoo that I've tried recently, I actually got my Birch Box, and it's the brand Amica. This stuff, it smells really good. This is Perk Up Dry Shampoo, and I think it's kind of funny it has sea buckthorn in it, because I am a big advocate of sea buckthorn seed oil, and it's kind of funny to me to see so many different products starting to have sea buckthorn in it. Anyway, it smells good. I'll show it to you a little more up close. Now, I have only ever seen this on Birchbox, so I don't know if you can get this on Amazon or any other place. I haven't looked yet. But it's not as good as the Rockaholic shampoo, but or dry shampoo, but it is right up there. It's actually pretty nice. Okay, so let's see here. I have one product that I decided to try because it's actually a mousse. It's from John Frieda. Um... I've tried Frizzy's products before in the past and have not had very good luck with them, so I was a little bit surprised when I tried this and actually kind of liked it. I'm not a big fan of mousse. Um, it kind of makes my hair crunchy, but this stuff actually didn't. And you know, as a typical mousse, it's one little bit and you end up with a tiny, a uh, whole lot. Um, it actually has a really nice smell. It's really light and refreshing. And it goes on really well, and it dried really well, because I actually diffused my hair instead of letting it air dry, which I would normally or have in the past. Um, it's okay. It held my curl for a while. It kind of made my hair the second day not so easy to work with, because the mousse does dry and kind of crunch a little bit. Okay, so the next product. I think I've talked about this before, but I wanted to show you this in person. Well, you know on a video. It's from Target and it's a curls brand. I've never seen this anywhere else so I've only ever seen it at Target. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. But it's a second day refresher. Let me see that. I do not like how it comes out because it comes out really fast and in a really concentrated stream so it doesn't... I can't spray it directly on my hair which is a little bit frustrating because I don't like to touch my second day hair or first day hair um, I, don't, I just don't like to touch it. I don't like to transfer the oils from my hands to my hair all that often, and I try to minimize that as, pos as much as possible. 
But this I will do about four squirts of the spray on my hand and it's kind of like a, a mix between a liquid and a gel. And then I'll just scrunch it over my hair and I did that today and it kind of brought back some life into my curls and that was actually kind of nice. And it smells really good too and it's cheap. Um, so if you want something that kind of helps bring back your curls the next day, try it and then let me know what you think. Okay, I've only used this once and I will explain the reason why in just a second. It was really nice, it dried really well, it diffused really well, it held my curls really well, except this is the problem. I don't know if you can see that. It kind of reminds me of something else that I'm not really thrilled about putting in my hair. It smells really good, and like I said before, scent is really a strong selling point for me. Um, it's kind of a weird mix between a curl cream and a gel. As you can see, it's a little bit sticky. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to talk about that anymore because it reminds me of something I don't want to talk about. And my favorite product right now, and like I've said in the past, I really like Miss Jessie's Quick Curls, which I've shared a link for on my curl, po my curl post I did a few months ago. I had not found this product yet and it is now 100% my absolute favorite curl product. Um, the funny thing is is that it was actually referred to me many times and I read a lot about it before I started really messing around with curly hair products. And it's from, I think it's Bedhead or TG. I don't, I don't actually know who the parent brand is, brand is of this. But I've heard of Catwalk products for curly hair oh my gosh, for the past three years, and I just have not tried them because some of them are a little bit more expensive and I didn't feel like dropping a whole bunch of money on something I wasn't even sure I was going to like. So one day at Target, I actually found a little sample size bottle of the Curl Rock Amplifier, and I've heard of this specific product as being a good curly hair product, and I just, like I said, I never got it. So I tried it, and I went right back the next day and got a full size bottle because... This stuff is amazing. It's a cream. Let me show you here. So you can see. It kind of smells like apples. And it you can use a little bit, you can use a lot, and it will still hold your hair. It diffuses super nicely. It's not crunchy. Uh, the one thing I didn't like about the Weed Ad Curl uh, Trust Effects gel was, well first off it's a gel, and it would dry very crunchy even if I diffused my hair, which I often did, and you'd have to put in a lot into your hair to actually, for it to actually work and work well and hold your curl, your curls really well. With the Curl Rock Amplifier, this stuff is very easy to use. It's, I use about three to four pumps on my hair and you know my hair is long so I kind of need a lot but it's definitely worth getting I, I found it at Target and you can get it off of Amazon and you might be able to get it from Ulta I haven't looked yet on that but th those are my new favorite products and I wanted to just share those with you guys today and hopefully I will have some new products soon because I have another curl product that I've had my eye on that I want to really try. And I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for hanging in there with us and hopefully, like we said yesterday, we're hoping to bring in a whole lot of new projects and ideas and reformatting things in the new year, which is what, nine days away now? Anyway, you can find us on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Just look up Lashes and Rouge and you'll find us. And please stop by the blog and leave a comment or subscribe or follow or like or whatever suits your fancy. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye.